Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do basic tag editing using MP3 Tag Express. So I'm going to go over here to Computer Explorer. And I'm going to load up some uh, files from an artist. And here you can see we've got um, the artist's name is spelt wrong for all three of these albums. And the beauty of this program is that it lets you uh, fix things like this across multiple folders all at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select all of these. And the first editing function that we have is multi-edit. Now multi-edit is more likely suited for albums, uh, specific albums rather than entire collections, although we could use this and apply the change across. But for now I'm just I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the artist, uh, edit artist uh, function. This gives you a little bit more granular control over things. So I'm going to go ahead and capitalize this and get rid of the dash because that's wrong. And I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see, all these are now consistent and I didn't have to go folder by folder to do it, which saves an awful lot of time. Now in the case of this one, I'm going to want to go to multi-edit and just check it out. And uh, the album name is again wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. And there's no year value. I just happen to conveniently know that it's 1973. Uh, it's not a multi-disc, so we leave that blank. And it certainly is not classical. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in rock. And if I want, I can save time typing just by clicking on this copy to V2. Now I will get into the difference between V1 genre and V2 genre later on, but for now let's go ahead and we're going to apply these changes. And as you can see everything is now consistent. And with something like this we've got an incorrect album name, so I'm going to want to fix that. So I'm going to go to Album. Get rid of this because it's not correct. It's Get Your Wings, not Get Your Wings. And I also just happen to conveniently know that it was 1974 that this album came out. It's not a multi-disc, so we leave that blank. Then you've, you're able to edit also other tags, like title and track number. So if you needed to adjust the track number itself or the title, you can do that. Uh, you're also able to edit the composers. Now with this, uh, you have to separate composers with a slash. And actually, uh, yeah, that's that's per that's per track because composers, there could be specific composers on each track. So if we want we can just expand this and we can see that there were a number of people who worked on this track. And the other thing too that we can also edit just the genre tag itself. So let's go ahead and we're going to change this to rock. And if you check this it will copy the version 1 genre to version 2 every time, so it automates that. And the other thing we have here is a new field that was added recently to the program. It's called grouping. Now some DJs like to use this to organize uh, their crates of music. So I could go ahead and I could call this, um, let's say, 80s rock or something like that. And there's our grouping value right there. And we also have editing for comments. So if we scroll over here and we see some comments, oh, there are no comments. Let's go get some files that have comments. Before I, before I do anything, I'm, I'm going to actually save these changes. And so to do that, you can see that the status says modified. And all you have to do to save everything in one shot is click this save icon. 
and everything's saved. And if you want to make sure that your changes took, which they always do, but you could actually make sure they took by clicking this refresh button. And this ensures that what you did has in fact stuck. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to load up something that has comments. And here we got some comments. So you can do whatever you want with these comments and apply the changes. Or if you want to get rid of comments, like in the case of something like this, and that's it. In addition to that, <coughs> excuse me, there's also a very uh, cool little function here that lets you insert text into the title. So you could put whatever you want in there uh, before the track number or after the track number. In this case, you could call, you could put the word in favorite or something. Some people like to put things in the title and they don't want to have to do it title by title, so that's a useful little feature for doing that if you want. And keep in mind that at any time, if you make a mistake and you want to roll back the change, you can go up here and you see that we have an undo function, which also a hotkey for it, control Z, so I'm going to go ahead and control Z, and that's back to the way it was, and it says undone. And this is a multi-level undo, so if I make a whole bunch of changes, a whole bunch of batch changes. I can roll back each back batch of changes until I'm right back where I started from. Now, in addition to basic tag editing, we also have editing for lyrics. In this case, we don't have any lyrics. If you want, you can look lyrics up. And you can use whatever font you want to look at the lyrics. So in this case, I'm just going to change this for a little bit better readability. Just makes it a little bit easier to uh, look at lyrics. And if you want, you can print the lyrics out. So in this case, I'm going to save these lyrics. Now, if you want to save some time and not have to go file by file, you can also do this. You can select these and do a batch lookup lyrics. And you can see here that these are getting filled in with the Y because it's finding lyrics. So if we open the lyrics window up again, now as we move from file to file, the lyrics change. And in addition to editing functions, we also have functions for removing all tags if you want. Uh, just the artwork if you don't like it, uh, the lyrics if you don't care about lyrics, or even the track numbers. My next tutorial will deal with trimming values from tags. Thank you for watching.